In this presentation, we'll take a look at local officials, staff, and others involved in planning, zoning, and land use decision making. First, let's take a look at local government structure. At the top of this chart, we have the governing body. The chairperson of the governing body, or if one exists, the county executive, county administrator, or mayor, is responsible for appointing boards, committees, and commissions, and for supervising department heads. In the next few slides, we'll take a look at each of these bodies and how they interact. The governing body is responsible for adopting and amending community plans, policies, and regulations. It is also involved in certain types of development review, namely subdivision plats, rezones, and in some cases conditional uses. By statute, the governing body is required to refer many policy and land use decisions to the Plan Commission for review and input before it takes action. The governing body, as well as the chief executive or administrative officer, also play a key role in supporting planning and zoning functions. They are responsible for appointing the Plan Commission and Zoning Board, overseeing the function of the Planning and Zoning Department, and setting the budget. Regular communication between the governing body, boards, commissions, and staff is important to make sure the governing body understands and supports planning decisions. The Plan Commission holds a key role in local planning and land use decision making. They work with staff, consultants, and the public to develop, review, and recommend plans, policies, and ordinances for adoption by the governing body. They may also review subdivision plats, rezones, conditional uses, and other related land use decisions. Sometimes they are advisory to the governing body in this role. Other times they may be given final authority to make decisions on behalf of the governing body. Plan Commission members are often selected to represent a broad cross-section of the community and they usually have no formal background or training in planning or land use matters. Nevertheless, they quickly become experts and key advisors on local planning issues. In smaller communities with little or no planning staff, the Plan Commission may actually be the first point of contact for landowners looking to develop their property. A community that has a zoning ordinance is required to appoint a Zoning Board of Adjustment or Zoning Board of Appeals. The Zoning Board is generally assigned three different types of decisions. These include variances, conditional uses, and administrative appeals. Zoning Board members are considered independent, quasi-judicial decision makers, meaning they review the facts of each case and weigh those facts against standards found in state statutes, case law, and local ordinances. In this sense, they act much like a judge. When doing their job, the Zoning Board interacts with staff, legal counsel, landowners, and the general public. Zoning staff provide support by processing applications and scheduling public hearings. They may also provide a staff report, which outlines the facts of each case, applicable decision standards, and their recommendations. The Zoning Board should consider these recommendations, but are ultimately responsible for making their own decision. The Zoning Board may receive advice from its own legal counsel as well as attorneys representing applicants. The Zoning Board must determine what information is credible and applicable to the decision at hand. Ultimately, the applicant holds the burden of proof to show that they meet the standards. Staff support varies widely throughout the state. Some of our larger communities have a full complement of staff, including a planning director, zoning administrator, planning, zoning, and GIS technicians, and support staff. Collectively, these individuals play an important role in a community. They facilitate future planning and visioning processes, administer and enforce existing rules, and lend technical and professional support to local decision makers. They also play an important role with the public, helping them to navigate and understand the development process and why rules are in place, and get involved in local decision making. In some of our smaller communities that have little or no staff, these roles might be filled by an administrator, town board chairperson, or even a member of the plan commission. Communities can also contract with private consultants, counties, or regional planning commissions to provide some of these services. Local officials and staff often need to call upon legal counsel to help navigate, interpret, and apply land use laws. Whether hired on staff or on a contractual basis, a community's attorney should be able to help draft and review legal documents and advise on proper procedures and decision standards. An attorney can also start legal proceedings if needed to enforce a code violation. Likewise, they will represent the local government if one of their decisions is appealed in court. 
Sometimes it's necessary to hire an outside attorney that has specialized knowledge in land use law. This situation also arises if the governing body chooses to appeal a decision of the zoning board. Let's review who does what. Policy making is responsibility of the governing body. They are responsible for adopting and amending plans and ordinances, typically in consultation with the plan commission. Land division and subdivision plats are reviewed by the plan commission. Preliminary and final plat approval may also be assigned to the plan commission or reserved for the governing body. Zoning responsibilities are distributed among all four bodies shown. The zoning administrator is responsible for granting simple zoning and land use permits. Conditional use permits are assigned to one of three bodies as specified in the local zoning ordinance, the governing body, plan commission, or zoning board. Variances are always decided by the zoning board. Rezones, which are simply amendments to the zoning ordinance, are decided by the governing body with input from the plan commission. Upon appeal, zoning decisions made by the zoning administrator or plan commission go to the zoning board of adjustment or appeals. In contrast, decisions of the governing body are appealed directly to circuit court. I hope this presentation has provided you with an overview of the individuals involved in planning, zoning, and land use decision making. If you would like additional information on this topic, please refer to Chapter 1 of the Plan Commission Handbook, available from the Center for Land Use Education.